Welcome back to another episode of Testing the Tips where I, as an average golfer just like you, try out some of the tips that I found successful in my own game from leading YouTubers and today's comes from Danny Maud. Now uh, this is almost like part two of a video that I looked at just a week or two ago when we looked at low points when striking irons in particular hugely important and uh, if you've not seen that video then I suggest you hop back and just take a look because it was an element in my game when my irons aren't going too good I tend to find that my low point is not where it should be and without me going into detail about that make sure you go and check out that other video today there was a second part to Danny's video which I felt just uh, was, was too much for me to take in in one episode so I've split it into two so go back and watch part one understand how low point has such an impact then what we need to look at is a little bit of a drill that Danny talked about in making sure we make the correct movements from essentially the top of our backswing to start the iron swing and making sure that we're creating a little bit of lag a little bit of a descending blow on our irons and making sure that our, our strike position and our low point is after the ball we're effectively looking to try and compress the ball as many of you will understand when you've got iron in hand easier said than done and if you're like me if you thin it if you're fat it or not every other thing that you can go wrong with an iron in hand then controlling low points can have a huge impact on uh, success or failure but how do we get there so we get to the top of our backswing the movement from there is then something that we've got to really concentrate on and for that I'm just going to change into this position you can see down the line now I have a really bad habit of well casting the club which is sort of moving out when I start my downswing which can produce something that means that I'm swinging very much across the club uh, the ball rather and produces predominantly a fade but I can also shut the club face down and make sure that I pull one over to the left as well so it's really important to me that when my game starts to go this is an element I have to concentrate on and so that I've been working on a lot is trying to make sure that when I get to here that my movement isn't out and I'm not throwing myself at the golf ball and many of you if you just take a little bit of time to analyze your own swing before you try what I'm suggesting just see what it is you do and if that casting motion or that movement to throw this right shoulder towards the golf ball is something that uh, is prevalent in your game if you can recognize it then this might help so what we do is we get to the top of our backswing once we get there the first movement then is with our hands is down and what we're going to do is concentrate on an area quite a bit behind the ball and we're going to come to here and we're going to hit that position so we're going to go down very oddly and we're going to hit that position seems a bit weird I know but there's a reason for it what it starts to produce is you start the first motion with a little bit of pressure down towards the floor you also start to drop the hands in a little bit and you start to get into a great position to deliver the, the iron in compressing the golf ball so it's dead simple and the lesson is simple and I don't like to overcomplicate these tips because I think there's too much in some that do exactly that so when we get to this position down is the motion so down now what we're going to do is translate that into a swing that now what hopefully if we are down the line am I down the line there what you can see now or I'm hoping you can that wasn't too good is that that casting motion that you'll have seen if you watch my videos is eliminated I'll put a further bit of pressure on myself by executing a shot so down down Now what's really interesting is a couple of things oh we're on the green that was an eight iron for those of you who are interested felt superb felt as though I compressed the iron I can see my contact between uh, ball and turf or club and turf was after striking the ball that's that important low point element but the big deal for me and you can tell me I'm no perfect golfer by the way and as you know I'm an average golfer like you so this won't be perfect and it is my interpretation of Danny's video but it's how I've took it to my own game but what you're hopefully seeing is by me making that downward motion 
it eradicates the cast. And I think for many golfers, that's a huge, huge problem. So that's it. Like I said, I don't like to waffle on in these videos. I like to keep it nice and simple. The drill, hit that ground, feel that motion pulling down. I've seen other elements. It's almost like pulling an old toilet chain where you just pull down and feel yourself hitting that ground and then transfer through it. And trust me, that coupled with the controlling of the low point, which might mean you need to watch another video, will improve your irons. I hope so anyway. Good luck. Thanks for watching. This video is uh, on two channels, on the Average Golfer channel, and it's also posted on Testing the Tips, which is just purely dedicated to tuition videos. So if you like a bit of both, then make sure you subscribe to both or either or. And uh, either way, make sure you get stuck in that comment section below and let me know what you think. See you soon.